If you offer multiple different products and services in your business to multiple different types of people, then this video is very important for you to watch. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes. And in this video, we're looking at a website that one of our users sent in for review. The website is jasoncarthon.com. And right away, let's just take a quick look at the homepage at what we see above the fold on this website. Now, what I want to talk about is something we can actually see in the main menu. If we take a look at the main menu, we can see right away there's a lot going on here, right? We've got speaking, coaching, consulting, there's a store, there's podcast media, meeting planners, and many of them have multiple, have a drop down with multiple further choices. So right away, you can see that here we have a personal brand that offers many different services to many different people. And what happens is a problem that I call excessive signaling, basically trying to send out too many signals to too many different people all at once. An example of this problem is when we look at what the homepage at the top says, right? It says known as a leadership linebacker, Dr. Jason Carson consults with Fortune 500 companies, provide quality training and coaching to thousands of men and women each year. So right away, okay, here it says Fortune 500 companies, uh, training and coaching, Okay, but not, it doesn't say training and coaching about what. So then it goes on to say uh, research based leadership strategies and personal development tools for uh, successful leaders, managers and employees. So leadership strategies and personal development tools are quite different from each other. And Fortune 500 companies, leaders, managers and employees are quite different from each other. So right away, we are trying to talk to too many different people all at once and it causes some uncertainty. It causes some uncertainty about who exactly this is for. What my guess here would be this is for large corporations, right? Fortune 500 companies who want to hire uh, Jason Carson as a coach or consultant inside their company for their managers. But then if we scroll further down, we have other messaging, especially this video here. This video talks specifically to people who want to start a business but haven't started a business yet. So individuals who haven't started a business yet at the very other end of the spectrum from Fortune 500 companies. And then further down, there's a lot more stuff going on here. There's a video gallery here. In one of the videos, um, it's about relationships. It's about interpersonal relationships. So again, something totally different. And Again, further down, we can also see this, this problem a little bit in the images because here we have an image that looks like someone speaking at an event for professionals of some sort, business event or something like that. The bottom, it seems to be at a school with school kids, which is again, is two very different things. And if I'm in either of these groups, I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure where to go. And this is the problem. So the whole thing, what you can see here, all of this is excessive signaling. It's basically saying we have all these different things and a lot of it becomes generic because you're trying to include everyone. So we have very, very generic terms like, you know, this here, purpose, passion, persistence, partnership. That's so generic. I don't, I don't know what you're actually doing. I don't know what you're actually offering. Um, and then we have, like I said here, we're appealing to new entrepreneurs. We have a lot of signaling about this is a whole different thing, like the, the proof, essentially authority proof. Um, then we have just a lot of text that's difficult to read on these images, which is just more, you know, pay attention to me, I'm important kind of stuff. We have a banner, which again, seems to be about another thing altogether. This here is a perfect example of excessive signaling, right? It says speaking, coaching, consulting, and has leadership development, motivation, sales, teamwork, more leadership development, dynamic goal setting, blog marketing, team building. These are all such different things. And one of the problems is that if you tell me that you're good at 20 different things, I assume that you're not very good at any of them. Whereas if you tell me I'm the specialist in one of these, let's say team building, if I'm looking for team building, then I want to hire you. Another more minor symptom of excessive signaling is also if we look at what's going on on the website in general, right? we have social sharing over here, we have a chat here, we have support here, we have back to top here, we have work with me here, We've got something that appears on hover here, phone numbers, email addresses, drop down menus, and this leads to information overwhelm, right? There's too many choices, end up not knowing what choice to make. 
One final example that goes into the same thing. So these four icons, strangely enough, all lead to the same page, uh, which is a blog post we're going to look at right now. So this is the blog post. And here as well, we've presumably got some information here, but we've also got excessive signaling. We have social sharing here, social sharing here, a quiz here, Twitter feed, then a lot of banners for different things on the side, a banner here in the post, something about a book, something about signing up here, another video here, more uh, logos and stuff, another video, something about an app. There's just too much going on. And it's very difficult to decide who this is for and where I should go if I'm interested. But don't worry, all hope is not lost. This is a fixable problem. And there are two approaches that I can recommend if you have a similar problem. It depends on where your business is at, what stage it's in. So if you have this, you have all these different services for different target segments in the market or different target markets, and it's going well, you're already selling all these different services and products, then what should you do? What I recommend you do is that you, first of all, simplify the above the fold right here. The one thing that combines or that unites all these different services is the brand, in this case, the person behind the brand, right? It's a personal brand. So we want to introduce this person and have something much, much simpler. So much less text because most people won't read this much text um, as the first thing, right? The first decision I make is, am I going to read anything here or not? And if I have to read this much, I might not do it. So we want to have a very simple two to three line head heading here that tells me this guy's awesome if you want some beneficial outcome, okay? And then below that, right away, ask people to segment themselves. Present, essentially you wanna have three to four options maybe, where as the visitor, I'm basically saying, I'm this kind of person. So I'm looking to start a business and I want consulting. I'm a large corporation, we have an event, I wanna hire a speaker. I'm a large corporation, I want to do internal, you know, team building training, have a simple kind of like these, something like this, basically, with larger symbols and a little bit of text and a button to click on, where people can say, this is what I want, and then you send them to separate landing pages. And on those landing pages, you take all the information that you have here, and you spread them out, you, you divvy them up into these landing pages because, okay, if you've got a video like this that is made for starting entrepreneurs, put it on a landing page where the entire page is for starting entrepreneurs and put testimonials from other starting entrepreneurs that you've coached on there and just make everything uh, focused on that target customer. And then you know, your, your logos of people you've, of companies, of large companies you've worked with, don't put them on that page because that's intimidating to someone who's just starting out, right? You put them on a page that is for large corporations who want to hire you for something. So you want to have, you basically want to have focused landing pages for your different uh, market segments and you want to get people to those as quickly as possible. So the main job of your homepage is get people to the page that's most important for them. You can then also add some of the other stuff. You can add some of the you know, social proof, some testimonials, maybe um, some um, content like, you know, check out our blog posts here, some stuff like that. But overall, the homepage would be much, much simpler. And the goal of the homepage is to send people to the right place. So we've created a mock-up of what that could look like. You can see it here and you can also go to this blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube, check the link in the description. If you're on the Thrive Themes blog, just scroll down below the video. You can take a closer look at our mock-up of what a page like this could look like. And again, the takeaway here is look at your website and ask yourself, am I doing excessive signaling? Am I trying to talk to too many different people with too many different messages all at once? And the solution I recommend you try out is get people to segment themselves right away. All right, that's a website review for today. That's jasoncarthon.com. Let us know what you thought of this review and let us know if you found some of these mistakes on your own website as well.